graders, remember, we're just doing a few things this summer just to get us a little farther in the book. Remember how we skipped a whole bunch when we went home for spring break? We're going to try to catch some of those things. There's a big green section in your book that we're not going to do. It had a lot to do with tens and hundreds, which are really important. But we did already do some of that. Remember when we did the number of the day every day when we were doing that, we were working with ones and tens and hundreds. So you have a little bit of that. It would be great if we did all of it. But what we're going to make sure that we do this summer is finish the blue section. If we finish the blue section, then we know there's just that bit of the green that you already know a little bit about to work on this coming year. So today we're going back in the book to chapter three. I'm going to show you the page. You guys are ready for the test. The last part of chapter three, it's in the blue section. I'm going to show you the page and you can pause the video if you need to, to uh, be able to find it. All right, guys, chapter three review test. You can see this is back in the blue section of the book. And if you want the page number, it's page 145. Now, these are some things we had been doing, and normally with a test, I wouldn't give you much help, but it's been a long time, hasn't it? So let's take a look here. Up here, we're going to start with, do you remember when we talked about addition strategies? Counting on. Remember, we might do count on with one if we're adding one or two or three. Doubles facts. Do you remember we used to practice those all the time? Doubles plus one or doubles minus one. So let's take a look here. Here is our basic fact that we're starting with five plus five. And you guys know that one is a doubles, right? So we're going to draw a line connecting those dots. Five plus two, well there, that's one of these ones where we count on, right? We say five, six, seven. So that's a counting on fact. Five plus four, well here's our doubles, right? Five plus five. Five plus four, we just minus one. We took one off of that, right? And five plus six, well, that's just like five plus five plus one, right? It's our doubles fact plus one. Doubles plus one. Woo, is your brain remembering doing this stuff? All right, use counters in a 10 frame, <gasps> which we don't really have, do we? So instead, we're going to be using our writing tools. Yeah, so I'm going to use red and I'm going to use yellow to make my drawing be accurate. When you guys pick up your work, your extra materials from me tomorrow, then uh, then you'll have 10 frames to work with. So do you remember how we did that? We took these last ones, because see we have two empty spaces. So we're going to take these two and stick them up in there. And now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, full 10 frame. And I'm going to color them in a little bit to remind myself. You guys can be doing this along with me. And then here, I can write the amount in my 10 frame. My 10 frame is full now, right? See up here, five, six, seven, eight. That first number showed how many red ones were in the 10 frame. Now up here, I'm going to show how many red ones are in the 10 frame. And it's 10, right? Because it's a full 10 frame. Now I'm looking here at the yellow ones left. We moved these, didn't we? We put them up here. So they're not there anymore, but now I have this row of five counters. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna put a little yellow in them to make sure we can see. These are my yellow counters. And now I can easily see I've got this one row and I know a row is five, right? And you know 10 plus five, well, that's an easy one. Go ahead and put that in there. Look at the cubes, complete the addition sentences showing two ways to find the sum. Do you remember if we're adding three numbers together, we're going to choose two to add together first and then the other one. So let's look here. Here's the three. Do you see how these three cubes are green just like that number? And four red cubes just like the red four and five blue cubes just like the blue five. So which two are actually stuck together here? The four and the five. So this three just comes right here, right? The four and the five are going to go together right there. What's four and five together? Figure that out quickly, write that down. And then guys, you can use counting on, right? Now for right here, oh my goodness, I hope you're not counting up all those cubes. Oh my goodness, use a strategy, 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 your first graders. Look at these strategies. 
<gasps> oh my goodness, five plus four equals nine. That's a doubles minus one. Five plus five is 10. Five plus four is one less than five, right? So we're first graders, so we don't just count all those up. That's a kindergarten strategy. We're first graders. Three plus nine. So here we can use counting on, right? So we can say nine, 10, 11. All right, now you can see, do you see the red and the green are put together here? And the blue one is by itself. So this blue one is five, right? So the blue one goes right there on that line. But now the green one is gonna go on this line and so is the red one because they're put together now. So three and four, you can use count on, you could use doubles plus one, you could use doubles minus one. We had doubles minus one right here, let's do it here too. Four plus four is what? You know that. Three plus four is one less. So what's one less than four plus four? Put that number here, add them together and write the sum. All right, now we're starting to fill in circles. Rick has 10 shells. He finds four more shells. How many shells does Rick have now? You guys remember this, right? When we're adding something to 10, that's easy. All right, which number sentence matches the model? Do you guys remember this? We used this for practicing counting on. Here, what we have is eight in the box, right? And then we say, right? So you should be able to see from here, we had eight, we didn't add nine. How many books are right here that would get added to put into that box? What is the sum? You guys can figure that out. That would be a good counting on one, wouldn't it? Which doubles fact does the model show? Oh, you guys can figure that one out. Oh my goodness, even though it's been a long time, I know you know how to do that. The sum of the doubles minus one fact, boys and girls, do you remember seven plus seven or eight plus eight? This is set up for doubles minus one, so it would be eight plus eight. If you're not sure you remember that, you can try some other strategies to figure that out. But one reason we need to come back to this is because we need to get some of these math facts really memorized. The missing sum. Remember, sum is what we have here when we put the two amounts together. So counting on three, six, seven, eight, nine, seven plus three, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's eight plus three, eight. What is it? Color in the circle. Which shows the same add ends? Remember, here's an add end. Here's an add end. Which one shows these same add ends in a different order? All right, and which shows how to use doubles to solve nine plus eight? So let's take a look here. You remember back on this page when we looked at the doubles fact, do you see how they were the same height? So if we're looking at these being the same height, this one here is an extra one, isn't it? So we wanna say, how much is this? Plus how much is this? Plus that one there. And remember, it could go in a different order. We might start with this one and then add those in. Last page, three add-ins to find the sum. He add, oh boys and girls, do you remember this? It, we did one like this before. You're gonna add three numbers. So let's try one plus two plus three. Cause remember we wanna experiment. We wanna try things out and check it against our facts. And then if it doesn't meet our clues, then we're gonna change it. So that is three numbers, right? So we can do that first one, add doubles. Do we have a doubles in here? We don't, this will not work, there's no double. Which one of these do you wanna double? We could double the one or double the two or double the three and then add another one. Why don't we go with doubling the three, three plus three. There's our doubles fact. Now have we added three numbers? We haven't, so you guys are gonna choose another one. Make a 10 to add, oh my goodness, that was so long ago, boys and girls. That means we need to get something here to come up to being a 10 or more than 10. So we can't put a one here, can we? 
because you guys know three plus three is six. If we have three plus three plus one, does that get us to 10? It doesn't. Three plus three plus three, does that get us to 10? It doesn't. You're gonna need to have a pretty big number in there, not an enormous number, but not like one or two or three to get to 10. So down here, you guys are gonna be showing what you did. You're gonna put the numbers here, you're going to add two of them together first and then add the third one in. Remember that? All right, this is going to be the thing to send me a picture of. So, boys and girls, I know that was not super short, but compare it to how much work you've been doing every day for the last few weeks. You guys have got built so much stamina for working that even just doing math once in a while is still going to be like a complete vacation for you because you've got this stuff. It's just going to be a bit of a switch because we've been doing all this stuff with geometry and shapes and measuring. And now we got to switch back to some adding and subtracting. So that switch, you know, your brain's going to have to do a little switching around. But you guys know this. We can do this enjoying summer at the same time. So you probably already did your field day experiences for today. If you didn't, go ahead and do them now with your family. Have some fun with field day. And... We'll do some more math next week.